How do we teach whistle sit? This is something that's asked on a regular basis. Not that difficult. Hey everybody, we're back for another video and we're at 13 weeks old here, which if you have been following along with Chip's progress, you know that we are utilizing our retriever training online course. It's available at standingstonesupply.com. And in that, they call we call it the 12 to 15 week zone, okay? We work a lot on differentiation. We've shown some of that, but also what we have listed is to teach whistle sit or at least provide an introduction to whistle sit. With the cockers, this is a little bit different than what we recommend with the big dogs, Labradors. If you're gonna be doing big marks, you need a whistle, they're gonna be able to hear you. Like, let's say you have the goals to be real big boy marks and then big blinds, so you're doing 300, 400, 500 yards. Dog's ears are amazing, but um, is, I have a hard time believing that this can be heard at five or 600 yards while dogs running through the grass going shh, 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 shh. okay? That's where you wanna look at the new whistles that we've been testing for a while. They're sweet, they have a different tone. That's for the retrievers. If you have a little spaniel, we're gonna be working in closer proximity. I'm not gonna do big stuff with him. And these are a little easier on our ears and he can hear it. So. Standingstonesupply.com. These are the two 11 and a half Acme whistles. They're fantastic. That's what they sound like. How do we teach whistle sit? This is something that's asked on a regular basis. Not that difficult. You taught your dog to sit on the cue, sit. Now, sh hey, show, show off a little bit, sit. Good. If you can teach that, all you're doing here is replacing the word sit with a whistle blast, okay? So in the progressions of training, anytime we move through things, we're going to blow the whistle, ask him to sit, reward him. We eliminate the clicker in this because let's face it, I don't have an extra arm coming out my armpit that we can use to be the clicker there. Otherwise that would work, but it'll be this simple, okay? Sit, right, folks, that's it. And we're gonna rep this sit good see how that works sit now at this point you should notice he is not sitting on the whistle he is not sitting until i say sit basically i like that sit that one was timed pretty well hopefully by the end of the session we'll be able to eliminate the cue or the word sit and then we'll use them interchangeably later in training sit good He's moving that direction already. He's a smart pup. He's shown that all the way along the way. Sit. That one definitely didn't happen until I used the S word. Sit. Good. Um, keep your whistle in your mouth. It's a very important part of this training. I am not doing it because otherwise everything sounds kind of like you're talking out the side of your mouth. It's hard to understand. Sit, good boy. You, as trainers, wanna keep your whistle in your mouth. It's gonna make it easier to use it at the appropriate time and keep rolling with things. Good. If you notice, there was no sit word involved in that one. Good dog, look at that. Good, this is a reps game, just conditioning. Good. Good. We could incorporate a clicker back in here. If I'm not taking my whistle out of my mouth. Good. 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 I'm gonna try and build more distance and see if we can get him to sit faster. That would be the... Good. Nice job, Ed. Yeah. 
The expectation would not be to sit for an extended period of time. It's again, just butt touches the ground. We'll work on building that later. Good dog. Also involves me stopping, if you notice that. Like to, to build off of what is happening body language wise, how am I communicating with the dog? How am I helping them to be successful? And then how do we wean off of all of these other subtle things that we're doing that's ultimately what the dog is cueing off of? So if I say this, here's an example, right? He tried to sit, but instantly moved with me, okay? It's not good. We need to build conditioning. What I'm doing is stopping with him. Moved into him, hope you saw that. So many things that I'm doing that it's easy to overlook. Like, why is my dog not sitting on the whistle like as fast as Trip did? Well, there's very subtle things that I'm helping with. And as you're utilizing those, you need to recognize what you're doing. Good. And then eventually we'll have to wean off of them. At this point, good. We're gonna call that a wrap. His session's just about done there. This is going to take repetition, just like everything else that we've done so far. We need to be doing this with all of the other things. We'll incorporate and go back and forth because I want him to understand what sit means and build on that, but he also needs to know what the whistle means. We'll be mixing and matching, adding this to his differentiation sessions where he's sitting and he's kenneling, he's kenneling in a crate, he's targeting, sitting on a whistle, going to a platform sitting, all of these things are getting mixed up. You'll be able to see that in some of our future videos where we give some updates. All in all, Superstar Trip is finished up with this one. I'm the guy with the big gun. We'll see you in his next video.